English. The new disease? It pours out of television speakers and computer screens, disregarding Babel with its very cocky fluency, sticking on its labellings at every opportunity, nothing safe. It doesn't stop when it begins to spread, it dominates the airwaves and reigns on the internet, leaving cultures altered and confused as to what's what, turns the dialecting of the used to a hot potch, ragtag, scrabble bag, everyone's affected. The little languages will not survive unprotected, so hold your own, but get a firm hold of English, and every last one of us will be a multilingual we we'll sing it, shampoo, juggernaut, moolah, hullabaloo, ad infinitum, powwow, kudos, deja vu, one tong, billabong, beef, potato, hobo, dream, wagwan, with a wigwan, Mr. Chimpanzee. So welcome to the 21st century flux. English is the language of choice. And when it dies, as every tongue eventually must, let it be said, you added your voice. The professor said, Piff, what language is this? Degenerate slang is not standard English. We at the top must establish limits. I said, prof, language is the people that live it. Get loose, give it some vision and foresight and juice. We can fling the dictionary door wide. I live in a city where it seems like every single idiom is intermingling stream-like, like streams. The no, no barriers, no matter what dams and channels are established, they are irrelevant. What matters is the message that is put across and the passion that's invested in it. Nothing's lost. It merely mutates and lets the people speaking it tweak it in new ways. Meaning that meaning is whatever you say, Jilly Jack Hussein, Iraq to the UK, to all corners. Through all twists and bends, six billion personal versions of events. It's thrilling when you think of all the tongues on the jostle to express their puzzle in the best words possible. The more words we have, the more ways we have to express the world we have to coexist in. And if the English language is the lingua franca of this planet, then never say that it should be a closed system. I said, welcome to the 21st century flux. For now, English is the language of choice for the performers. But when it dies, as every tongue eventually must, let it be said, you added your voice to the chorus. So English isn't English. It's an elastic patchwork, a fantastically insane confederation, a very strange tapestry of foreign vernaculars borrowed from Norse kings and fettered slave men. So if language is linked to the land which it springs from, English is linked to the globe in entirety. Fragments of every language you can think of, roots in every type of society. Welsh, French, Jamaican, Indian, Italian, Dominican, Hispanic, Germanic, Norse, African, Norman, Dutch, Latin, Greek, Japanese, Yiddish, Native American, Antipodean and Finnish. And the list could continue till my tongue went blue. What I'm saying is the owner is you. It lives as it's spoken and it mirrors the truth and there isn't any owner but you. I said, welcome to the 21st century flux. For now, English is the language of choice, but when it dies, as every tongue eventually must, let it be said you added your voice.